What's up, you guys? Yes. Welcome to another episode of Super Mario 3D vs. We're on Galaxy. True. Why does the game look so much nicer right now? <laughs> I don't know why it looks really nice on my TV right now. Um. You turned up the graphic. Does the OLED Switch dock, like the cable, is it better than the one the regular Switch came out with? Uh, I don't think so. Because that's, I did switch it out. Because, uh, I was, too, when I first got my OLED, I was too lazy to swap it. Okay. So, I, and I needed an extra cord be for today because I wanted to plug my Wii U in. And I just, like, keep it plugged in. So I looked in the OLED box and was like, oh, I have the OLED box. I might, I'm going to put my old Switch wire in the Wii U and then put the new OLED wire that I didn't use yet in the in the old dock, and it looks a little crisper. I don't know. Might just be me being stupid, but I don't like know. The, the new dock had like a little bit of something different in it, but like, yeah, it's, I don't it think it was good. actually like utilized. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, anything big happen in between recording sessions? Not just in your life, but anything. I started and I can't Pokemon think of Legends. Any. Oh, do you like it? Yeah, I actually do. I think it kind of starts out a little slow. Like, the first hour is kind of yeah. just talking. The emphasis is talking. Yeah. Um, other than that, yeah, like, I don't like it. I couldn't beat the, uh... So, well, I beat the game, but I couldn't beat the post-game boss, so I just kind of stopped playing. Like, no spoilers. But, yeah. You know, you know um, what I kind of was thinking about doing, but I was like, it's kind of too late to start it because we're already like two months, almost three months this year already. I was thinking of doing like a thing where like every time Nintendo, re I, I'll play like every single big game Nintendo releases this year. And then like when I beat it, I'll get like a group of people who also played the game and we just like, it's like not like a review. But we kind of just talk about our thoughts about like a discussion about thoughts about the game or whatever. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, I thought about it. I was like, the kind of Pokemon already came out. And... Why am I forgetting how to get up here? I mean, I could still do Pokemon. I could probably, I don't know. Maybe. I thought about it. Yeah. And then at the end, we like rated out of 10 or something. I don't know. That'd but, like, be pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I was wondering, it. like, why everyone was, like, loving the game so much, but I get it now, because, like... Uh, yeah. There's a lot of, like... I don't know, it just feels better to play a Pokemon game that's a little bit more open, and to, like, mm -hmm. throw the Pokeballs yourself. Instead I'm of everything hoping, being so rigid. I'm just hoping Gen 9, which I don't think we'll get this year. If I think we might... Not this upcoming presents in February, but, like, at the end of this year, I think it will get announced. Gen 9, and now it'll be 2023, though. I think. Because yeah. this year, I think they're just going to focus... Like, the rest of this year, they're just going to focus on... Maybe spin-offs and Arceus DLC. And then next yeah, year, we'll probably get the next new gen. Because this isn't... Even though... Yes, Game Freak worked on Arceus. But their core team did not. Like, a side team did. Oh, yeah. Just the side, like the team that would make like the third versions of the Pokemon games, was the team that worked on this one. Oh really? Yeah, like the people who would make like Ultra Sun and Moon, or like, um, I think oh, like Platinum and stuff. It was a that waste. Team. So it's not as big as the. Uh, and they've probably been doing this for a while. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like Arceus is like too similar to like a mainline game that like if you release it this year, it's it's gonna be a little weird. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's more like a spinoff, honestly. I don't like like you, you really just kind of run around an open world and catch Pokemon. The battling feels different. Everything feels different from a traditional Pokemon game. But like, I hope if we do get a Gen Nine, or like, well, we probably we will get one eventually. But when we do. I hope it's more like a mixture between what we got in Arceus and what we, um, don't have. I haven't played Arceus. What we, um, 
and the traditional ones. That's what I kind of want. Like, imagine, like, an open world, but it's, like, populated full of towns, and you have to go from town to town. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like the anime, where you, like, he explored. Like, he was... Yeah. But, like, an open world, like, oh, they go from town to town to get all the gym badges, and they, it's, like, open world. I don't know. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. I don't really know where else they could bring the series, unless they do, like, more Arc Legends games. Which are more open, and then like traditional Pokemon games are just the same like they've always fucking been because they don't change ever really. And they just gotta do something different. They really, they still use like Game Boy sound effects. <laughs> yeah, they do in Ar Arceus too. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they they're just too afraid to change tradition because. Yeah, cause don't they don't want people to like hate. You know, yeah. Whatever, I don't know. But. Um, it is what it is, I, guess. I, I feel like it's pretty funny that like. Why well, like Yokai main... watch more? But it's gone. <laughs> yeah. I'm still the main upset. like gimmick of <laughs> Sword and Shield was like all oh, the wild area. Like, but then yeah, like I... Arceus is... just was basically that, but better. Yeah, it's like multiple wild areas. Yeah. And then like the DLC was a step in the right direction. I think that's. I think. Not, I didn't like the island one, the tropical island DLC, but I really liked the, um, what was it? You know, the, I forget what it's called. The crown, the ice one, the crown tundra. That uh, one was really good. The ice DLC for Sword yeah. and Shield. I didn't play I any loved of that it. one, that was really good. I played the first, like, couple hours of Sword and Shield, not even, actually. And then I just. Return Pokemon to games, games are just up. always like they're just B they're B tier titles, you know. They're they're not bad, they're not good. I'll play through it and like somewhat enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Like that's what I do with them, really. Like I'm not like looking. I'm not. I don't really look forward to them. I'm just like, oh, it's here. Let me just play it. It's, only, it's not that long, and it's mindless fun, I guess, you know. Yeah, I get that. This one I liked a lot more than. The other ones. I was actually hyped for it. This was like the first time in a while I was actually like hyped for a Pokemon game. Cause I usually my I'm usually kind of just indifferent. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't, whatever, I'll, I might play it. I'll probably play it. I wasn't hyped for it, but like after it came out and I'm hearing everybody saying it's good, I was like, huh, maybe I'll get it. So I did. I forget what I'm doing in this mission. Is this the one where I get the shell? Yeah, I think so. This is the one where you play as Mario and you jump around. That's and like you collect a star. That's all. <laughs> I don't know. Um. I just beat King Octopus Guy. I didn't even do that mission. I'm probably gonna go, <laughs> go do that. Because I actually like that boss. It's fun. Four stars, baby. Where is the gold shell? No, I'm not saving my game. The gold shell from New Super Mario. Look, you can see Mario's reflection in the water. That's really weird. So how how many how many stars do we need? In this one, sixty. Okay. But I. And that's I it, right? I, There's no other like requirements. I don't know, actually. I <laughs> don't know. I don't know if you have. I I think it is just sixty, but because I don't think you need to beat all the bosses. I not. I mean, like all the Bowser missions. I don't think so. Because, yeah, 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 you don't, you don't, because, yeah. because when I go for 100%, I just stay in the room, like, each room until I get all the stars, and, like, but by the time I get to, like, third one, I have, like, 60, so it just lets me go to the final boss, but I don't. Yeah. Where the but, fuck uh, is the golden shell? Oh, there, this, yeah. It's B Mario time. Bum, 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 bum. B Mario... Be Mario. Use the B. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that thing. I don't know. I feel like it's like a pain. Like it, it's not a pain. It's just like. Wait, I can't do water. Cause there's some. There's gonna definitely be like lower tier releases in this year, where I feel like I have like I don't know anyone who played them. <laughs> and that's it's gonna be. Yeah. Like, I'd be weird to do it like alone. Yeah. Kind of weird just talking. I did that like one time. 
I used to have like a thing where I did like the like discussions and it was a pain in the ass to get guests like people with me so I literally did like the last episode it was literally just me by myself <laughs> and I was just like oh this is the last episode because I couldn't I just it was just a pain because it, also it's random because it's really random and I have to get people quick that's another factor why it was hard because but this would not be as like surprise, I feel like. Because it's like, oh, Nintendo announced a direct, like a, a Xeno, not a Xeno, but like they yeah, announced an Animal Crossing direct randomly, and it's tomorrow. I gotta get a discussion about predictions in less than 24 hours upload. It's like a pain. Yeah, but I stopped caring about that. I just do reactions. Yeah, is that all you really post other than streaming? So far, yeah, what the but fuck? I can't find this stupid thing. This one's not that hard. I don't know why I'm struggling. What? So stupid. How I the fact I'm on this mission still is ridiculous because this is one of like the easier ones. And I've literally got it so quick on my uh Yes, stay on the mission. That's fine. Stay yeah. there as long as you can. I'm gonna because I wanna get it. I I have no idea where to I'll catch up. Oh my to you. pro controller's low battery, that's great. Oh that's great. Yeah, if I die I'll just use Joy Cons, whatever. It's not gonna die because these battery lights on these things are crazy. Yeah. Mine, like, wait, if it, mine gets to low battery, it's, it has, like, another three days in it. Yep. It's I crazy. went to the Mario Kart Club meeting yesterday, and I was playing with my Pro Controller, and it was, like, my character was constantly moving left, and I was like, oh, God, is it drifting now? Boy so God. I switched to Joy-Cons, and it was still happening, and it turns out I just had tilt controls on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Idiot. Speaking of Mario Kart, I've actually been playing the Mario Kart a lot more lately. Yeah. It's been like a... For me, it's like I put on like a podcast or something and I just play. Like I've Yeah, been, I usually put on like YouTube videos and like play Smash or Splatoon or something. Yeah. I've been doing that lately. Uh, I'm hyped for the DLC. Yeah. And uh, I've pretty much i just been... I got every single collectible in the game except one thing, which was the golden wheels, because that's a pain in the ass. And when the game first came out, I, I was really bad at the game. Like, I, I wasn't bad at the game. I just picked my character and cart based off what I thought was funny instead of, like, actually, like, being fast or whatever or good. Like yeah. A good car combo. So yeah. when I played, I, I played as Cat Peach in, like, a cat car because I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah. it, sucked. it sucked and it was like fun for, fine for like casuals like playing casuals for people but like by myself it was not so fun yeah yeah i never really go for like i mean for time trials yeah but you need to if you want to beat the so the thing is to get the golden wheels you have to beat every single nintendo employee on every track well mm -hmm. one it is only one per track but still you have to beat them all to get the golden wheels. So I did that, and it was a pain. And it was fun, but it was a, some of the levels are a pain. Some of them I like destroyed them, and then some I like got destroyed. And like I, the only way I beat some of them is I literally copied the character, the com, like in the car combo. Yeah. It, it was fun. Not really. You I know what? I'm really gonna for that. I just played. I lately I've just been playing multiplayer when it comes to Mario Kart. Yeah. I have Probably not. On the tower. <laughs> Did they turn shells off or some shit? Like what the fuck is going on? Irv. I'm honestly resetting. Do it. 
I'm not doing this fucking mission. It sucks. I've been on it for no. like seven minutes. Keep doing it's it. It's such an easy one. You literally go in the fucking water, you get a golden shell, and then you come back. It's... It's ridiculous. Weehee! My favorite thing that. to do in this game is like the home and ground pound. I just do it like on rant, like the Lumas in the lobby really. I don't even <laughs> use it in the mission. It's just fun. Because you like homing attack them. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. What is this, Sonic? You know in the Wii version? Well, I don't know if you could do it with Joy-Cons. You might be able to do it with Joy-Cons. But the spins for the... There's a, if you shake the nunchuck, you get a different, like, spin. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, like... I didn't really... <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cool. The longest time growing up, I didn't realize you could even shake with the nunchuck. Yeah, I didn't think there was a motion thing in it. Yeah. I don't even know if there is. I think it just tell the Wii Remote tells when the like wire janks or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and I, it probably does have motion in it. I think it does. I just want to see a speed running trick. Because Punch Out uses <sighs> it too. Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Competitive. It's funny most how like, we, have the, we have the two Joy Cons now, so like we don't have to deal with the wire between the two. Yeah. It's just funny that they did that back in the day. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else they could have done it. Unless they did like two yeah. Wii remotes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would have worked. Like if you, if you if you had the option to use two Wii remotes. Yeah. I feel like Something they never like really thought of it back then, like, you could just use two different I think controllers. some games did do that. <laughs> like, really? what, well, I forget the name of it, you know that, like, the Sega game of the monkey, uh, with that, the bongo dude? Super Monkey Ball? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> he had a sombrero on. Oh, uh, 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 um, Amigo or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, <laughs> that game let you do that. Yeah. They let you use two Wii remotes for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like two Wii remotes c would confuse the average person who would buy the Wii. They'd be like, what the fuck? It transformed to Rainbow Mario. Mm, they didn't have the copyright for Star Mario. Yeah. What the fuck? I just go? No, was I supposed to do that? Yes, I was. Where is this? Where are the coconuts? Oh. Coconut gun. Coconut mall. Coconut gun. There's that coconut fires and squirts. Fires and squirts. Because if he shoots you, it's gonna it's hurt. It's gonna hurt. So how was... Well, yeah, I was about to ask you how your break was, but you're not on break. I remember you said that. Yeah, that's not till next week. I'm on. I'm on school break right now. Really? It's been all right. If it it's been, it's good. It went fast though. Yeah. Too fast. You probably. I think you told me that actually. That you were on break. I don't know if I did it on camera. I might. Have. I don't know. February break. Can I like shoot those things? Yeah, I can. Now I'm fighting a beetle on top of a beetle. Skyward Stacked. Sword? Yeah. I like Skyward Sword. I never played it until the Switch version, but I liked it. I thought you were about to say, you know, I like Skyward Sword. I've never played it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never played the originals. I played a little bit uh, on the Wii. But was then. It good? Yeah, but that was like years ago. But then I got the Switch version when it came out, and I played most of it. I didn't finish it though. That's good. That first boss fight was so hard, and the other ones were like such a joke. It might have been because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing with the controls yet, but still. Forget that the button. The button. 
the almighty mm. button. King Caliente versus Mario. Giant Donkey Kong King. Donkey Kong? Is it Mario Galaxy? That's your excuse to put Donkey Kong in the thumbnail. Donkey Kong Country versus. Yeah. Oh god. Random I don't versus... remember if I even beat Returns, but I beat Tropical Freeze. I beat Tropical Freeze too. I didn't get. I didn't hundred percent it. I thought it was difficult without getting going for everything. So I was like, you yeah, know. I, I don't really. The game's actually pretty hard. I feel like. I ra I actually raged. Raged at the, uh, I, ra I I don't remember it exactly, but it was like a boss you fought. It was like a big puffer fish underwater. Yeah. I raged at that fight. I remember Like, that. actually, I raged. And I, like, I broke <laughs> I broke my iPad on accident. You broke your what? <laughs> my iPad. Oh, because of the, f the, the boss fight? Yeah, I was raging so bad. <laughs> I beat that game twice, because I, I don't know why, as, like the first time I beat it, I was playing as Donkey Kong, and then the second time I did the funky mode, just to do it. Yeah. But so, it was so much easier with funky, but that's like the point, I feel like. It's supposed to be. Funky mode's cool, because like, not it's not only an easier mode, but it's kind of cool though. Cause also have, new. Like, yeah. New funky mode. You have like infinite rolls or something, and you got like, you could like jump on spikes. Yeah. So it makes you feel cool. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good thing to do. Yeah. I like when games... Uh, like, I like when games add characters. Especially for, like, ports. But I hate... Like... I was mad... Like, don't... When... The only thing I don't really like about New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is that they added Toadette. <laughs> but, uh, not that they added her. It's more that they got rid of Blue Toad, because now if you if you did four player, one of them was handicapped, pretty much. So it's like, like on an easy mode, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Yeah. What am I supposed to be doing here? When I first got the game, I played it as Toad X. It's like I already beat this game like five times in a video. I can. I'll just I go through it for fun. It sells more than Mario Maker. <laughs> Big bag bugaboo. Alright guys. When I get all the music notes on this planet, I'm gonna try to get literally all the st all the panels. You ready? No. Okay. You're not gonna get nothing. Oh fuck. Um. Okay, we got it. Yeah, this is not that hard. Where's Bugaboom? Oh my god. He's big. Bugaboom's scary. He should be a Mario Kart character. Yeah. The booster course pack. You know who else should be a character in Mario Kart? The the honey bee, the giant bee. She was an A. I mean, make, her, make her replace Waluigi Again. in Mario Kart 7. And then they had his course with Ben Bull yeah. in there. Oh my god. That roster. I love Mario Kart 7. Yeah, I did too. I love, that was a good one. Yeah. I think, okay, I, I'm gonna say something controversial, maybe. I think Mario Kart Wii is not that good. Like, it's not bad, it's just, it's just the other ones are better, and I feel like it's overrated, because I think, I feel like most people, if you ask most people what the best Mario Kart game is, they'd either say 8, Deluxe, or Wii, and I just disagree. Cause... But that's, those are the two, like, most people played, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Because the think, Wii sold For so me, I, it's probably, if, if 8 Deluxe didn't come out, I would have said 7, like, me. But 8 Deluxe just made 8, like... Go from like just made it so much better, honestly. Yeah. It's not even like the battle mode for me. My favorite addition in 8 Deluxe is honestly the two item slots. I thought that was Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I get that. 
I just like it. Come on. I'm passing the swing test. I'm not leaving this level. I'm, I'm actually not done. I'm literally just gonna do this whole time. Maybe. Okay, no. Really, Mario? Why do you have to screw up your Maybe I should just talk to the NPCs. That's probably a good idea. Talk to me. You here to take the swimming test? No. Yeah. Come on, dude. Is I'm that gonna... why it's not here? I could do this, right? Because I had to talk to this guy? Oh my god. More. Yeah. If that's the case. Now he's angry. Because if I... Watch it be like in the middle of. Like, hold on. Watch. It's gonna be like right there now. Because I said I talked to him. No, it's not. Where is it? Look, it is. I didn't even need the key. Oh, that's so stupid. I just do. No. <laughs> that explains. I didn't know you had to talk to the NPC because I was trying to be speedy and not talk to NPCs, but apparently the mission doesn't fucking start. So there was no shell. I wasn't stupid. Oh my god. Well, I didn't, I didn't talk to the NPC, but. I'm trying to be speedy for the verses. Come on. <laughs> the bug is dead. You already killed Bugaboom? Yeah. Wow. Damn, wow. Bugaboom. Wow. Yahoo! Yahoo! Wow, where'd you find this? <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find it? Oh, God. Oh, my controller is on low battery. I don't care, I'm, I'm pushing. I'm Put pushing a new through. battery in it. Yes. Oh, Hungry Luba! Can you even? You might be able to. Actually, no, you can't. There's, there's no more battery slot in here. It's only rechargeable. Oh, that was all. Okay. Hungry Luba. Should I do loop de loop? Yeah, why not? Loop de loop. What's this? The, the, is this the one where you get Luigi? Oh, yeah. Not get him, but you find him. I'm gonna go up there. A long you can now play as Luigi. <laughs> you get all the stars. That's what you see after you die. <laughs> you just see a screen that says you can now <laughs> play, as, play Luigi. as Luigi. Oh my god. Would you play as him if it was true? You go, yeah. you live your whole life again <laughs> as, as, as Luigi. <laughs> but now you're Luigi. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. I'm not I'm not using a Joy-Con or I'm or in handheld mode. Using a Pro Controller too? Yeah. You you play Super Mario Galaxy with a GameCube controller. Oh, I, I don't hate myself. I do. I, would, I don't even think you could do that because it's not like gyro. Well, you could. You would just mm. be like limited with the pointer. Yeah. But you just couldn't use it at all, I think. Well, no, you might. It would just stay in the middle of the screen. Oh, maybe. The whole time. Like this. Like if you just hold. Like if we hold it R the whole time, that's what it would be like. It would not yeah. Be like. Still use it. It would just be like that. That's what happened, because I was playing 3D World when 3D World first came out. My cousin got the game too, so we were playing through it together. And he has a uh, one of those... Not off-brand... Not off-brand, because they're like a licensed, I think, by Nintendo, but they're not like the actual Pro Controller. They're like the ones with yeah. the character designs. You know what yeah. I mean? And they, those don't have gyro or something, so we couldn't use the pointer in 3D World. It just stayed in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I I actually got I think it was I forgot what brand it was, but I got one of those like third party pro controllers. Mhm. Mm I actually did have gyro. I got the Spyro one. Some of the, yeah, some of them do. It depends what you get. I think it's it Power A or controller. something. Yeah, probably. Like that. Look, let's 
You know when you save Luigi as Luigi in Luigi Galaxy? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they let you do that. <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't want to change the mission, I guess. They want Yeah. They could have put, like, Mario, I guess. I don't know. No, but that wouldn't have made sense. Either, I feel like. I think it's just weird. His twin brother, Just change Luigi. it to Gooigi. He didn't exist. Oh. He should have. He did at the time of the release of the, uh, the, the, this remaster. all stars. They just <laughs> changed the game. Nah, I don't think they would put that much work in this. We have discovered an enemy base, oh, yeah, yeah. You can now tra- ah. You can now transform into Boo Mario. Boo Mario? Hey Mario! I'm a Boo Mario. You butt. <laughs> Luigi sucks him up. I'll do flip switch. Is that a flip switch galaxy in the second game? Did you- wait, what? Wait, no. I'm an idiot. Are you asking if there's no. flips? No, I'm- I'm get- I get that one confused with the one in Galaxy 2 where if you shake the, like, the platform switch. Yeah. I thought wait, that, that wasn't was... in this game? No. Everyone- I thought the same thing, honestly. Their game- the levels are just designed differently. Really. It's really just more Galaxy, it really is. Yeah. It's not bad because Galaxy's really. Doing a long it's not time. bad because Galaxy's um a good game. I prefer this one though more. I think it's because I think the levels we do have in here, like the big ones that have like three stars in it, are more open. Because we don't, you don't really have those in the second one. They're only like they're more galaxies, but they're smaller and they have like two stars each, maybe, plus the green stars. So yeah, not as big and open. Yeah, they're more like the ones in the in the these games that are like one stars. You know what I'm talking about, like the like flip switch, for example, stuff like that. Oh, it's on top of it. The manta ray one. It's like two where you like ride a parrot or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that fucking makes sense. Did it. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. One... Ever since the announcement of the eShop going down, I spent a lot of money on eShop cards. Because I'm. <laughs> I, f I always forget you can do this. You can, like, mess around with the map. It's cool. I'm a 12 hour drive away from my Wii U or 3DS right now. Because I didn't bring them with me. How could you? <laughs> what did you bring? My switch. Well, game, I like what well, yeah, game also wise. My switch, That's my a bubble breeze. What? That's the galaxy. I'm going through bubble breeze galaxy. Okay, what are you saying? Uh, I have my switch, my PS5, my N64, and my Mario PS... on the PS5. My PS1. Nice. Mega leg. Mega leg. Let's kill him. Oh wow, there's only like a minute left. Yeah, I don't know how. This episode's been going fast. Yeah. I think I got like. Not too uh, fast. Though. I started with like three. I think I have nine now. Nice. So I got six stars. I got like f I think I got like four, five, maybe I don't know. I haven't really I haven't really been counting. Wow, you know. made it! <laughs> Waluigi, Galax. Why does the mega leg have a car alarm? I, I don't know. It'd be like that. This thing's big. Hence why it is called the Mega Leg.
Oh god, this is like not the right way to go at all. It's this it has to be this way, right? I'm just reminded of how in Galaxy 2 I, I like oh, Yoshi. Wait, it's, it's time. Oh shit. Pretty uh, much. Pause the game. Yeah. Okay, I am paused now. You're paused. Alright, yeah. uh, thank you guys for watching today's episode of Super Mario. Yeah, I was concentrating. I got distracted, Loki. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.